In today's video, we are going to discuss about the second method under discounted cash flow technique called profitability index. And PS is nothing but its abbreviation. This method can be called by many names and they are a desirability factor. It is also called as benefit cost ratio. And finally, it is also called as present value index method. This present value index method is one of the famous name for this profitability index. Okay. So what is the formula of profitability index? So PI is equal to that is profitability index is equal to sum of present value of cash inflows divided by present value of cash outflows. So guys, most of the time this present value of cash outflow is nothing but your investment. Okay, initial investment. Apart from that, in most of the sums, you won't be having your cash outflows in the intermittent period. So most of the times, not all the time. Okay, it will be your um, initial investment. Okay, so this sum of present value of cash inflows is your benefit, right? And this payment made towards your initial investment, which is called as cash outflow is your cost. Thus, it comes to be benefit divided by cost. So this is how this technique derived this name benefit cost ratio. Okay, let us move on to the decision rule. So under decision rule, as we saw in the previous method, again here also there is three uh, points to be noted here according to which decisions can be made. So the first point is your profitability index should be greater than or equal to 1 in order to accept an project. In case your profitability index is less than 1, it is not less than or equal to here less than 1, then you are going to reject the project. So if your profitability index is equal to 1, then your project is at an when net present value is greater than 0, then profitability index will always be greater than 1. Okay, let a, before moving further, let me explain this. So what, what happens in net present value? Net present value is nothing but your present value of cash inflow, which is a benefit minus present value of cash outflow, which is a, which is your cost. So benefit minus cost. If one, only when the benefit is greater than your cost, you will get an positive value. Similarly, under profitability index, the formula is nothing but benefit divided by cost. So why we why it is being given as profitability index should be greater than or equal to 1 because whenever your numerator is greater than your denominator then mainly you will be getting the answer that is near to 1 right 1 point something or 1 like that so let us take discounted cash inflows as a that is your benefit as a let us take your discounted cash outflow that is b as your cost so then in that case, your net NPV is nothing but A minus B. That is discounted cash inflows minus discounted cash outflow. Yeah, in previous video itself, we just discussed it elaborately. Now, what happens on a PI? It is nothing but your A divided by B. That is benefit divided by cost. Okay. So guys, this is just for your simple understanding that is NPV is nothing but A minus B. You're just going to subtract that. Whereas PA is nothing but A divided by B. That is why it is called as benefit cost ratio. Simple understanding. Here A should always be greater than B when you're going to select that product. Only if this A is greater than B, you're going to select that project or else you're just going to drop that project in both the cases. Then only in under NPV, you will be arrived with the positive answer. Under PA, you will be arriving with the answer that results in one point something or one okay let us see an example okay so the project there are three projects one two three so your discounted cash outflows just note it down it is discounted cash out it is five lakh fifty thousand seventy five thousand and it is nothing but it's one crore twenty thousand yes then your discounted cash inflows. Discounted cash inflows is nothing but sixty five six lakh fifty thousand ninety five thousand and 1 crore 3000. So now we are going to find our profitability index here. Guys, what, what is your uh, benefit? Discounted cash inflow is your benefit, right? So what is your um, cost? Discounted cash outflow is your cost. 
so how we will be doing this so it is a by b so it is discounted cash inflow divided by discounted cash outflow so a always your numerator to be should be of greater because the inflow whenever the inflow is greater you will be result to be result to the one okay the second point is 1.27 and the finally it is 1.01 let us move on to the next example here your initial investment is rupees 20 lakhs expected annual cash flow is equal to rupees 6 lakhs for 10 years your cost of capital is equal to 15 percentage finally profitability index is equal to how much now we know the formula profitability index is nothing but discounted cash inflow divided by discounted cash outflow so what is your discounted cash inflow so that is this rule we haven't saw this uh, annuity uh, discount factor yet let me explain what is meant by annuity discount factor in this uh, video okay first of all let us know when this annuity discount factor comes whenever there is an uniform cash flow okay whenever there is an uniform cash flow for n number of years and you should you want to discount that in that case instead of working out for each year if working out your uh, your discount factor for each year you can do the sum simply with the help of this annuity factor only simple calculation okay annuity factor for 15 percentage for 10 years is equal to 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus r whole power n divided by r so guys r is nothing but your cost of capital and n is nothing but the life of the project one thing is to be noted under discounted factor i have already said that we are going to discount the cash flow for that particular year right if i receive the cash flow in the year one i will be using one as my n but here our entire life projects life is taken that is have been provided they have been expecting annual cash flow of rupees 6 lakh for 10 years that is for in each year i will be getting 6 lakh so instead of finding discounted factor of for 15 percentage for one year two year three you can also do like that instead of doing like that simply by applying this formula simply by applying the figures in this formula you will be arriving the value so 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus r power n so r is nothing but your uh, cost of capital and uh, the n is nothing but the number of years the cash inflow is going to happen to us so it is nothing but 10 the the total uh, annuity factor is 5.018 now so 20 lakh sorry 6 lakhs is your what your annual cash inflow so 6 into annuity factor will provide you with the discounted cash inflow okay that is the value of the cash inflow as computed today okay the today's value will be arrived so 6 into 5.018 divided by 20 into 1 already we know the present value of today's cash flow is again the same value so i'm just multiplying it with 1 so if i solve the same so the answer comes to be 30.11 divided by 20 that is my benefit discounted cash inflow is greater than my cost so it is how when i solve i will be getting the figure as 1.51 yes your profitability index exceeds one then it is recommended to accept the project okay so this annuity factor is very very important whenever there comes a cash uniform cash flow and they are asked you to discount the cash flows then just go for you the annuity factor rather than going for a discount factor because this is very very simple you're just going to apply apply the figures in this formula and you're going to derive the answers okay so guys profitability index is a very very small topic so i'm just wrapping up the session here in next video we will be discussing about internal rate of return and thank you for today